So Luo Huan has the privilege, if you want to call it that, of starting on beam for China as we begin this third subdivision. Action happening elsewhere, of course, on floor and uneven bars. But our attention is with this routine now. I was very impressed with them during the podium training session. They look confident and strong. It'll be interesting to see if they carry that through to competition show what they're capable of without holding back. They're in a class of their own on this apparatus. Opinion, the best in the world in terms of presentation, choreography, rhythm, and technical expertise. They're not the best in the world, I've always used the performance aspect. So far, so good. Lovely combination, the Anodi through to a double stag jump. Opening routine for the road. Yeah. Much better than that. Now there's a 14-1, so that is clearly the best score so far. Chen Yi Li is ready for a good beam for China. Where she was beaten by Switzerland's Julia Steinbauer. Beaten for the bronze. She's 16 years of age. And one of the second on even bars of the World Cup earlier this year. We're one of the most watched YouTube clips after the Olympics. Just amazing. Yeah. Almost bounces off the beam, but... 13 for 50 for her first ball. And here is the ball. Jim is trying to stand out from the others is their precision. Very definite techniques that the whole national team has. The Indian Air Force so. here is Deepa Karmaka. The same. The ability to recover and save when they're in trouble is also stronger. Yes, if they stick to their technique, it does certainly serve them well. Leap in the wing position, hard to get that back knee up. Deepa Kamaka won the gold medal in Messina at the World Cup with that very same loss. It's a very strong performance. Triple twist, very, very nice. And Chen, 14 8. My God. Recently won the all-around title the Stuttgart World Cup. Certainly a rising star on the world gymnastics scene. Beautiful. <laughs> Floats that through the air and just a strong landing. So assured. Beautiful combination front aerial to two jumps. Not even a hint of hesitation. There's a tiny wobble on something that wasn't a skill. Just a tenth maybe for that. Difficult jumps from a side face half turn to another side side facing finish. It's much harder to finish than the forward facing elements. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 14 4 5. 
Triple T 5-8 though, you see that's where the difference. Lots of character coming out in the performance from Chen Yi Li, who was unfaced by the strange delay at the start. And I wonder if there too was a knock on. To, okay, who else has we got wrong here? Okay, that's it. Swap to sits out. So that, there we are. 13 1 5. A special first tumbling line. Quite spectacular. Double twist, she's gone outside the floor. and interesting finish. They're well choreographed, aren't they? And uh, China, on the floor. All the skills. Uh, she's uh, really a sports of okay. three for you on the floor. Yeah, 5-0-3 was at Luo Huan. Beautiful double turn with a leg in vertical. We're seeing a more modern style from the Chinese team. Triple turn, easily done. China actually only put three up in the, uh, the floor. So Zhang, who was uh, due to perform, did not. So they just had had to count all three performances and only one of them was good enough to be in the top eight. Yes. Well, it is definitely the weakest apparatus. 
many selectors who are more suited to bars and being, I think that's going to be a consideration perhaps hands down that last line. For the next generation of gymnasts that are competing against very strong performers. A couple of issues going on there He's with the landing. Upset, obviously. The teammates giving a break. Down probably unnecessarily, oh. and I'm pretty sure that's because that bolt is not in the close. Oh. She's capable of a mid 14 on this apparatus. Floats that pack down to the low bar, and we'll see the quality of the releases here in terms of amplitude. All the handstands taken completely to vertical. The Chinese so well known for their pirouetting work. And the height on that Pike Jaeger is amazing. One and a half pirouette. Packed full of difficulty. Stuck double layout. Oh, that's class. And... Uh at least initially, they seem to be back to their best there. Now, Luo Juan. 14, 6. That's swept past the pit. Well, on those apparatus, but not as a team. Starting with their bars. Beautiful stall to the shack. Straight down to the pack. This time straight into the hanger. Different entry into that shot. That's why she can do it twice. Once again, pirouette finishing in vertical. Just popping up that pike yoga. She's had a mistake there, but she saves it. It will be in probably a 0.5 deduction for that error, but she does think clearly. Well done to her for saving that routine. Yes, uh, thinking quickly, improvising well, and she looked in a heap of trouble, and you don't often see it saving. 14-2, that's pretty good still. Yeah, 14-2. You, Ting Ting. Well, all of this whole team is capable of scoring in the mid-14s. Beautiful amplitude, even better than the team makes. Great connection from the pack into the stall to Shap, and then straight into the Ginger. Gorgeous pirouette work, finishing right into vertical. There's nothing to deduct on these elements. One and a half, a little bit late to finish. Fantastic. <laughs> so they're first and luck if you think something's going wrong. 14 8 5 for you, Ting Ting. So she goes to the top of the standings on an even bar. So Chen Yu Li is likely to miss the time on the Jupo country rule. They've got the, the top three scar the scores on pass. Well, it'll be interesting to see now he pops up into the all-round lead as well. The team 